Welcome to What's New with AWS. I'm Jeff Barr. Before we dive in, I want to thank you for all your great feedback and all of the likes. This week, I've got another story for you and three great launches. So I know in weeks past, I've shared some success stories with you, and I don't want to give you the impression that I'm someone who always succeeds because that's really far from the truth. Reality is that the, all the great feedback you've given me on my success stories has made me confident to share with you some of my less than success stories. So back in high school, I was not a great student. Now, some folks that are in this situation, they say that they're actually pursuing some bigger vision and that school's just this bit of a distraction, but that wasn't me. I just wasn't very good at school. For example, in high school math, I just loved the idea of math, but it was just a huge struggle for me. I would read ahead in the textbook. I would read about the concepts. I'd read the history. I'd lead, even read the little autobiograph autobiographical sketches of the mathematicians. But when it came to actually doing math, I couldn't get the right answers. I struggled and I struggled, and I ultimately just really passed with just really poor grades, just up to including calculus. Now, on the outside, folks who saw me doing computer stuff, they said, wow, that's really cool. Jeff's this computer whiz. And they said, you should go to MIT. But I'd hear this and I said, I am for sure not MIT caliber. I'm never going to get in. If on some random chance I got in, I'm never going to succeed due to my unbelievably bad math skills. Instead, I went to a local com community college with the idea that I would study computer science, which, of course, came with its own requisite math component. I'm in the computer science program, I'm studying assembly language, I'm doing Fortran, and it's actually going really, really well. I find my ground, I can really make this computer do anything I want, and for maybe the first time in my life, this is really my thing. I even found out that if you wrote to IBM and asked really nicely, they'd send you manuals for free and you could learn any more. This was just a great deal. Now, word got around the computer science department that I kind of knew what I was doing, I saw people looking up to me. They'd even ask me questions from time to time. That was really cool and something that really hadn't happened a whole lot before in school. At this point, I'm kind of your standard issue 1970s computer geek, long before that was a popular thing to be. No math skills, no social skills, no girlfriend. In the first quarter, I actually fail out of calculus. This is really, really bad because math is actually supposed to be just part and parcel of computer science. I can't get my computer science degree without the math. I get a message from my counselor to come on in, and that had actually never happened before. Meet with the counselor. Counselor says, Jeff, you're not going to get to graduate unless you meet this math requirement, and I'm not at that point on a track to do that. Uh-oh. Counselor says, well, take a math placement test. I do that. I wait for the results. Results come back. I'm sent back to what is pretty much like ninth or 10th grade math. Ready for a fresh start. I think, okay, I'm in college now. I can make this happen. Back to 10th grade math, take the first exam. I'm really ready to ace this class. Exams are about to come back. Professors passing out the grades. As they're doing so, they say, well, you all did pretty well, except for Mr. Barr, that is. And here we go again. I think back to what the counselor said. I'm just not going to graduate. I'm just moping around campus at this point. Kind of moping, thinking, uh oh, what am I going to do next? And I think, well, I'm also doing okay in philosophy and sociology. And eh, not sure what that career is, but I'm at least doing okay in those classes. And then I hear this voice Hey, I hear you're good with computers. I looked up. First I saw purple pants, then I saw long black hair, and then I saw this beautiful young woman. We started chatting, and it turned out we're starting to work together on some Fortran, some assembly language, get up a little bit of confidence and actually can talk to her. It turns out she's new to the US, and I get to also, as we're talking and I guess mentoring, get to explain some really interesting aspects of our culture. We're all going well, getting together a, a time or two a week, and then because I'm doing okay with computers, she's like, well, could you help me with my math? And I'm thinking, uh-oh, this was going all right until now. I, I step back and I'm really apologetic. And I say, I I'm really sorry, but, but that's just not my thing. And then she says, 
you know what? You can't be awesome in everything, but one thing is enough, and you're awesome. I'm like, wait, what did you just say? Say that again? She tells me again. I burn it into my brain, and it's still there. You can't be awesome in everything, but one thing's enough, and you're awesome. This was an absolute game changer for me. First, someone actually said I was really good at something. That was really great to hear. And then th this reality that was okay not to be a math whiz, but that you know what, it's okay just to be barely adequate at something. With that tiny bit of confidence that I got from that that brief statement that she made, I said, "I'm going to do this." I brute forced my way back up to these math classes. I'm not acing them. I'm not stellar. I barely pass each one. I'm pushing this gigantic rock uphill as I go, but that's okay. I finished calculus because that's all I need. That was enough. I'm not proud of my grades, but that's where it is, and that's where it happened. So that's how I got through math. But at the end of the school year, I asked that girl out with my newfound confidence. We actually got married in 1982. I can do enough math to tell you we've now got five grown children, and we've soon got five grandchildren. So what did I learn? Well, I still can't do that math. It's now perfectly okay to be mediocre at a lot of things, as long as you're actually okay and awesome at something. And with that, on to our launches. All right. So the first launch is the new application migration service. This is designed to make it easier for you to bring your apps to AWS. The really cool thing is you don't need to make any changes to your applications or to your architecture, and this makes it great for what we call a lift and shift migration. You can start from either your existing physical, virtual, or your cloud infrastructure. It's really cool behind the scenes. It continuously replicates your source servers while they run. You don't have to reboot your servers. You don't have to make any other changes to your source infrastructure. You can get access to this from your from the console in nine regions. It's free for 90 days for every server that you want to migrate. To learn more, you can read Chani's blog posts and you can get moving and get migrating. Next up, the new App Runner. This is designed to make it even easier for you to build and run applications using containers. You start with source code, a container image, or a deployment pipeline, and App Runner does the rest. It builds and deploys the app. It sets up the infrastructure, including a load balancer. Sets everything up so it scales on demand. It even monitors application health. It's all built with AWS best practices. Helps you to get to production as quickly as possible. To learn more, you can read Martin's blog post. Finally, I've got a great update for the AWS Toolkit for VS Code. The whole idea of this toolkit is to make you more productive when you're building your serverless apps. What we've launched is better support for writing Lambda functions in Java and Go. You can now create and you can locally debug, including the all important breakpoints and single stepping, and then deploy your Java and your Go code. This toolkit already includes serverless app templates to help you get started. It works with the AWS SAM CLI really easy to install and to set up. So that's all for this week. I really hope you enjoyed my story and the launches. Would love it if you click through, like, subscribe, leave a comment. I love the comments and I read them all. Always remember, you can't be awesome at everything. One thing's enough, you're awesome. Thanks for watching. See you again soon.